Okay, so in this video, we will prove the following theorem with the mean value theorem. Now here's the result. If the derivative of f is equal to 0 for all values of x, then f of x must equal to c for some constant c. So all we're saying is if the derivative of the function is always equal to 0, then the function must be a constant function. So the graph of the function must be a horizontal line. Now before we prove this rigorously with the mean value theorem, think about how intuitive the result is. The derivative of a function is its rate of change. If the derivative of the function is positive, the function is increasing. If the derivative is negative, the function is decreasing. If the derivative of the function is zero, the function is not changing, therefore the curve is flat. So if the derivative of the function is zero everywhere, the curve is flat everywhere, it is never changing, therefore it must be a constant function. So the graph of f of x is a horizontal line. So we now will prove this very intuitive result with the mean value theorem. Well, by the mean value theorem, if we take two different points A and B, we have that f of B minus f of A over B minus A, the average slope of the function f on the interval from A to B will be equal to the instantaneous slope of the function, therefore the derivative, at some point C. So C lies somewhere between A and B. But by assumption, the derivative of f at any point is equal to zero. So f prime at C must also be equal to zero. But now look at the given fraction here. If a fraction is equal to zero, then its numerator must be equal to zero. So it follows that f of B minus f of A must be equal to zero. Therefore, that f of b is equal to f of a. But think about why this is interesting. The choice of a and b was arbitrary. So f of b equals f of a for any choice of a and b. And if you think about it, this completes the proof, right? At any two different x values, x equals a and x equals b, the function will always have the same y value. f at some point a is equal to f at some point b. So the value of the function is the same at any two different values of x. And you can of course visualize this to make it a little more concrete. So picture the situation. And now, a and b are arbitrary real values. So suppose a is here, and this is f of a. And the idea is to think of a as being fixed, so fix a, and now let b vary over all real numbers. So let b vary over the entire real line. Suppose b is here, and you say, well, what is the y value at this value of b? Well, it is equal to f of a. Pick a different choice of b. Suppose here. And so what is f of b here? Well, it is also f of a. So no matter how you vary b onto the real line, the y value at b, f of b, is always the same as the y value at a. The y value is always the same for any choice of b, and you can see therefore that the function is nothing but a constant function, a horizontal line. And this completes the proof. But remember that this is a very intuitive result. If the derivative of a function is always equal to zero, its rate of change is zero, the curve is never changing, therefore it must be a constant function. So its graph is a horizontal line. And that's it.